Spikes RT blog date January 24th, 2010. Alright, let me tell you guys, I have never been so busy in one week. As you can see, this is my new place. Um, so, I'm going to be here for the next six months. And um, I moved in here Wednesday. Lots of paperwork to do. I got my assignment and done um, some required classes and yesterday I did an eight hour training session so I pretty much clocked in 12 hours already and I still have another four and a half hour training session today and um, this Wednesday is when I really start the work so now yeah, now I'm officially a cast member for Walt Disney World. Now a lot of you are going, oh please show me what they're going to be doing. Uh, I can't do that. Um, I cannot reveal anything until they put it out to the public themselves. So until then, I have to keep my mouth shut. So, um, so you'll have to wait till they make an announcement before I pass it on to you. Um, but what I will say is that I have found out um, a couple of attractions and one park is currently closed for refurbishing. Um, There's one I'm, I, was, I was going to do um, later on this blog but um, I'm going to postpone that uh, because it's on um, refurbishing. Um, and I think Blizzard Beach is currently down for refurbishment. Um, but it's not going to be that long before it opens, so. Um, so. Um, that's what I got to right now for Disney. Um, now what I want to do um, is something I like to call the Disney Dare. Now, what, I'm going to explain this to you. Now what it is, I'm going to choose three attractions from one park. Now, it could be anywhere from the mild to the really intense. So, I'll put three of them up for you, and then I'll put a poll on Live Journal. And what I want you to do is choose the one that you want me to go on, and I will post a video reaction. So, let's see uh, what we should do for the first one. Uh, I'll give you a week um, to vote on this. Alright. Um, while I am doing that, um, I'm still not going to tell you where I'm going to work at, but I will give you a hint. I'll, um, I'll be at Epcot. And if you want to find where I am, you'll have to find me yourself. Um, let's see here, and I, and I did get my costume, um, they, they call it, they call it costumes, it's is, uh, is part of their Disney language, like, um, we don't call, um, the visitors, we call them guests, we don't call ourselves employees, we call ourselves cast members, and we don't call them uniforms, we call them, uh, costumes. So. So don't get those confused, all right? Okay, um, which park should we start at for our first Disney Dare? Why not? Let's start Magic Kingdom. Always the most popular one. All right, which three should I put up? Hmm. Let's see here. Let me go around. Gotta be something that should be good. All right. First one um, on the, our list. I'll put in Haunted Mansion. Um, um, now I'm gonna give you a description of this in case you don't know what it is. You climb aboard a, a Doom buggy, 
Head three, an ominous haunted house with a supernatural ghost host. To introduce you to his closest 999 dearly departed friends. But watch out for those hitchhikers. Alright, so that will be your first choice. Second choice. Let's do... Big Thunder Mountain Railroad. Now keep in mind that I have never been on this one before. It is a um, runaway train that rushes through the gold mining old west town of Tumbleweed. Now just beware of where the rails go clickety clack because the car is about to run over a treacherous terrain. The last one That was just recently been done refurbishing is Space Mountain. This is a very dark ride, so you probably won't see me since it will be so dark, but you might still hear audio. Um, just climb aboard a spaceship and just soar through space. All right, so I'll put those three on Live Journal, and you vote for which one you want me to take on. And I'll give you a week for that. And I will reveal the results of that next week. Okay, let's move on to something else. Um, I've been talking about this the past couple of times. Avatar. They were at the um, 67th Golden Globe Awards. And I, what I will tell you is that um, they had four nominations and won two awards. One of them for Best Motion Picture in the Drama category. And the best director, which would be James Cameron. Some other mentions, um, one of our furry movies, um, Fantastic Mr. Fox, um, did receive a, a nomination for best animated feature film, but it was defeated by Up. Let's see. Da -da -da. All right, um, also about Avatar, uh, just a little update on their um, revenue. 38 days of international release and 36 days of domestic release. They now have a worldwide total of 1,718,998,689,600 dollars. So they're closing in on Titanic for the highest grossing movie of all time. So, so keep it coming, everyone. And finally, um, further confusion is still going on. And I've already seen a news clip of the, um, of the con. It's posted from uh, CBS. You can find it on YouTube. And I must say, I am impressed. Saw a couple of my friends there. They did mention the CSI episode, but everyone knew how to respond to that. So, but other than that, very good um, journalism, and I do credit them for that. All right, um, that is just about it, and um, I gotta get ready for my training session. So, Spike Path logging out.